these are uh, six different variations of the Marks switch towers. Um, there are some more variations, uh, as in the colors will change and stuff like that. But quite often people ask, what do they do? Well, simply some of them, they just light up. That's all they're for. Uh, these three here, when they're uh, hooked up to a, a transformer, this orange thing will glow because there's a light bulb behind them. And that's really their only purpose in life is to light, add light to your track. Um, and you would put these switch towers at, you know, at the beginning of a, where you have a, a siding or a switch or something. And in the old days, in real life, the, there would be a man in these towers that would actually operate the switches from, and he'd be up high enough that he could see what's going on in the yard. Now this one, and these two are different. They don't have lights. They have, hopefully you're able to see that there, this little lever on the bottom. Now, I just took one of them, and I've re this is one of the ones that has the little lever on the bottom. And on the inside, it's going to be hard to see, but there's some uh, little, some wires and some things, and, and coils and that. And what they do is they, in theory, allow you to change the direction that your engine is running from the switch tower. Now, my experience has been, they just really don't work <laughs> um, for the most part. So I will show you one that works somewhat. And the way they're supposed to work is your, the way they're advertised is you just talk into it and there's an opening right here and uh, there's a piece of cardboard like behind it and when you talk the vibration of your voice is supposed to move the cardboard um, well it takes a lot of force in my experience to actually get them to do it so just normal talking won't work um, so i am going to try and get this one here to at least sort of work and give you an idea of what it does. But what I'm gonna do instead of telling it what to do, I'm gonna give it a, I'm, I'm basically getting a blow into it fairly hard and, and with a little bit of a vibration to the blow um, to see if it'll activate the mechanism. So let me get over here and turn on the train and we'll see if I can make it uh, work just a little bit. something to keep in mind um, if this was a Marx engine Marx engines have a two position reverse so if you get it to work it is either going to it, it's just going to change directions every time you do it because there is no neutral but uh, let's see what happens here naturally okay that exerted some pressure on this uh, cardboard or, what, or whatever it's made out of piece. Now we'll, uh, I've also found that with all of the parts inside, they need to cool down just a little bit before you do it again. But let's see if we can do this again. Okay, so there it goes. And it's going the other direction. Now let's do it again. Anyway, that gives you an idea of what it's supposed to do. It's not working quite right, um, but it is functioning just a little bit. 
maybe when they were brand new and, and the cardboard had and some of the uh, pieces inside that are made out of a, a heavy cardboard or a, an early phenolic or something like that, uh, you know, before age had warped them, maybe they actually worked halfway decent, but I'm not old enough to remember. So anyway, there you go.